Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the player ratings for Arsenal's convincing, I stress convincing, 3-0 victory over Fulham. Now, I'm still buzzing from that performance, very, very good performance. Now, there's usually some times where a team plays well but doesn't get a result. Or sometimes you get the results but after a poor performance but today we played very well got the goals got the clean sheet got the points got the job done and got the results at the end of the day so i'm still still very very happy very good start to the season our new players already adapting william and gabriel no choice aliba was but i'm sure he'll be with the team very soon i'm really 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 happy so um for the lineup i was quite surprised that martinez wasn't in the lineup at all it looks like he's going to leave us a sad story but i think it's um it's best for his career because i i'm guessing la teta and uh, most of the fans prefer leno as the first choice goalkeeper because to be fair martinez did um come as a surprise to us uh, uh from his performance at the end of last season leno was always our first choice goalkeeper martinez was just a surprise so i think what they're doing here is just cashing in on him and uh saving up the money so uh leno started in goal bellerino was on the right niles was on the left Holding started in the middle, Tien and Gabriel, but it looks like we're playing a, a back five when we are without the ball. But when we have the ball, we are playing a back four with Tien on the left and Niles almost in midfield and then Aubameyang almost right in behind Lacazette. So a lot of switching up, a lot of uh, different tactics, a lot of mobility, what I like. We can play in different styles, different ways. You can score from the left, you can score from the right, we can score from long balls, corners passes build up so that is a really really good positive and i can't wait for the rest of the season it's it's really looking good very different from last season yes last season we did start with two wins but um this this just feels kind of different this feels different we just won the FA Cup last season we had just lost the Europa League we were thinking about what are we gonna do this season you know but this season just won two cups uh things are looking positive new signings are in so Looking really good. In midfield, we had Shaka and El Neni. And then um, up front, we had William, Aubameyang, and Lacazette. Now, from that starting 11, of course, there are very many different um, different uh, surprises. Like, as I said, Martinez not being in the squad anywhere. There was also, um, who else? Um, Pepe being on the bench, I guess. El Neni starting, Holding starting. All these players... Aubameyang has been linked to the move away, Lacazette the same, Bellerin the same, Holding, Niles, like at least six or seven of our players who started today have been linked to the move away and we still don't know whether the likes of Holding or Lacazette or Bellerin are still going to be here. But as of now, they're still here, they're still Arsenal players and we keep on supporting them. So that was the lineup, I was happy with it. So let me get into the player ratings for the game. In goal, Leno. Like he's never been away, another solid performance, no mistake, another clean sheet. Didn't really have much to do, Fulham didn't really attack, but the couple of shots they had, he saved them. But there was this time that Gabriel fell asleep in the first five minutes and Leno was very quick off his line, very, uh, very alert. So I'm going to give him an eight for today. The next one is Bellerin. Here, here to stay, I hope. For me, I want him to stay. People want us to cash, cash up on... Uh, cashing on him sorry but me i want him to stay um he always puts up good performances i know he took time to recover from his injury but i'm sure now he's gotten back to his best so definitely definitely keep him and for today apart from the yellow card that he got you'd have gotten an eight but there's the time he got a yellow card and also committed another silly foul could easily have gotten a red card so bellerin for today i'm going to give him a seven he was also in the build-up for obama i think it was obama's goal just like fulham away two years ago very very good so bellerin gets a seven just because of um those silly fouls the next one is going to be holding another player we don't know whether they're going are they going to be here or not he was he was linked to newcastle supposed to go to newcastle but he's still here he's now a defensive player because we don't have mustafa we don't have chambers we don't have socrates we don't have pablo mari i don't know where saliba is Luis is also injured so it looks like holding is down you're going to like um depend on for the next few games two or three games 
And for today, he also did keep it up. He's like Thierry Henry, holding it very, very good. I'm going to give him an eight for today. The next one, the debutant, Gabriel. Wow. As I said, the first five minutes, very, very um sleepy, or let's say he wasn't like ready, he was uh, taking chances with some things. But after that, after that, the way like he shut off their striker Kamara, and I think it was Cavallero, the left wing in their team, very, very good. I'm really proud of him. And then the way he got up for that corner, I just realized how tall he looks, how um his body build and everything very strong. I'm really happy with that performance. And for today, could easily have gotten one of the match. So I'm going to give him a nine for today. The next one, Karen Tierney. I mean, since he came back from his um two injuries, he hasn't put up a, a faulty performance. He's been great ever since, defensively and attacking wise. Like um, he always like um performs both ways. Like he provides like um, he's good. You get what I'm saying. He's good. He really like contributes to the team all round. So for today, even the Tesco thing, making us laugh, all that. Really cool guy, really cool dude, not flashy and all. I'm going to give him an 8 for today. The next one, Maitland Niles. Um, on the left, playing again on the left. Very, very, um, is very, what, what is the word? He can, literally can play everywhere. I don't know why I've forgotten the word. Versatile, yeah, that's the word. He's, he can play anywhere. On the left, on the right, as a defender, as a midfielder. Quite, quite a good player he's improved very very well so i'm proud of him too uh the only thing i'd say is when he, get, he goes to attack it to attack he looks like kind of lost i saw him do that against liverpool in the community shield and also today looks kind of lost in the box that he had a couple of chances to at least pass the ball or assist but he looked lost but apart from that i'm going to give him a seven the next one is granite shaka i'm also going to give him a seven there's a ball he gave to obama perfect 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 long ball um he's definitely won our hearts back and i'm going to give him a seven for today El Nini a surprise. I don't know. He's still not sure if he's going to stay. I know he's not our cup of tea, but he's done his job when he was needed, and I did a job again today. He's not going to. He's not going to impress you. Like he's not going to press your eyes in terms of skill and all that. But he'll do the job, the dirty work. So I'm going to give El Nini a seven for today. The next one I'm going to talk about is William. Amazing debut. Mikatarian yes did have three assists on his debut. William also ha uh, got three assists today, but the way he plays, the way he played today, like the creation of chances, the way like he switched the balls to Obama, there's another time he switched the ball to Niles, the way like he knows what he's going to do. He also hit the post uh, from a free kick, so perfect debut for him. Uh, three assists on his debut. I wish he could have got a goal, but definitely what we needed, someone to like create chances, so I'm going to give him a nine. He definitely has been, um has brought um new life to our midfield or attacking midfield. The next one is Lacazette, another good performance. Hoping he improves from last season, hoping he doesn't get sold. Got his goal, should have gotten two or three at least. But good uh, to start with the goal, so I'm going to give him an eight. The next one is Obama. I'm really tired of talking about Obama. He gets a chance, he puts it in. Simple as that. You have to give him an eight again. What a goal. What a goal. He was also my FPL captain. So we really needed that. I know um, Salah got a hat trick today. But Obama can easily get top score again this season. So I'm going to give him an eight. Um, all round performance too good. The holding up of the ball with Lacazette very good. Um, the next one from the bench. Pepe, Sabas and Ketia. All of them aren't in for too long. But Pepe, the time he was on, looked very good. Created a couple of chances. Sabayos too, that nutmeg, amazing. But I'm going to give Pepe a 7, and then I'm going to give Sabayos a 6. The next one is Nketia, I wasn't on for too long, so I'm going to give him a 6. The next one is Mikel Ateta. The reason I'm really confident is because, because of Mikel Ateta, so I'm going to give him, give him a 9. Could have easily have been a 10, but again, I felt like he waited for the subs too long. Maybe could have done it like in the 60th minute, but waited until the 87th minute or something, but... No fault, we played very well. The way we are switching our play, we look like we can score from different um, positions. Very, very happy with him. So, nine for him. So, those are my player ratings. Let me know what your player ratings are. Um, let me know your man of the match. I also put out a quick reaction after the game. You can also check it out. Uh, more previews from next week. Again, more live streams. Thanks for watching again. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys late, later.